Look, I'm chilling, right? So, don't think I'm going to be making videos tomorrow and the rest of the week. Bullshit. I'm just enjoying the day off. <laughs> but, uh, black political savvy. We don't give ourselves enough credit. You know, a lot of times we talk about we need to get into, um, we need to be more politically astute. But there's a big segment of our population that is very, very politically astute. They, they, get, they get how it works and how it affects us. You know, they get, people were talking about, yeah, that was the crazy part about the, um, the Obama administration when Cornel West and, um, Tavis Smiley were having their discussions early on in his first term about we need to hold his feet to the fire because he's a politician like everybody else. And the people are like, oh, chill out, chill out. Shut up, man. Don't do this. Don't do this right now. And it was never, for some, it was a shut up just because he's black. And for others, it was a shut up because we got to see how this is going to play out because y'all know how this country get down. So to have both of those aspects um, all three of those aspects, rather, you have to have a, a people who know what's going on in this country. You know, they the people who who knew he was a politician knew the type of shit they could go on if he wasn't pressed. The people who knew how this country get down, so they're trying to just let him feel his way out to make sure you know, you know, this don't uh, this is it, this ends in a good situation where at least they could say they had a great president, so they can't pin everything on him, and then. The people who had the vantage point that he black and I'm happy to see a black person in office, you know, you understood where they stood too. It wasn't the history of this country and everything that went on in this country politically made you understand all three perspectives. You, you don't have to like them, but you understood them. When when we talk about um, when we talked about the country's drug policies and and and, and the, 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 what is it? The industrial, the prison industrial complex. We talked about how that in the drug trade uh, affects not only the citizens, the economy, families, and how, how it, 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 it fractures political zoning and, and, and everything else for people to take advantage of it. We've spoken about that numerous times. Those things come up. Like, a lot of times people act like we're uninformed when we, we're really damn informed to the point where people are really... It's, to me, it looks like people are tired of us opening our mouth because we too fucking right. We write too much. Like, yeah, this is how it's going to play out. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not politically. You don't know what you're talking about. It's not going to be this. It's going to be that. You know, when people give you the, the, the argument, well, you know, it's the Democrats. The Democrats are throwing you under the bus. As if the Republicans ain't. Well, the Republicans, you know, blah, blah, blah. The Republican, the, the Republican Party wasn't the party that, that were, was throwing Klan rallies. Wait a minute, pimp. Uh, 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 didn't know it was, it was the Democratic Party. Yep, I mean, black people were, Dem were Republicans back in the day, right? Yep. And they flooded the party and then, you know, <laughs> took their racism from one party to the next, right? Oh, I forgot. We, uh, we didn't know you knew about that. People don't talk about stuff like that. You know, um, we are the people who talk about gentrification and um, the glo how, how the global, how colonization and how imperialism affects the global economy from overseas to in this country. You know, we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about the, the effects of, of, of pollution and the poisoning of the air, food, water. We don't want you to, and, 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 and how the pharmaceutical companies can make, uh, uh, making money hand over fist. We don't want to talk about that a lot. We don't want to talk about how, you know, these politicians are puppets for these these corporations. We're we're very uh, savvy to what's going on. Same thing 
you know, with the police brutality and even the situation talking about, you know, how the George Zimmerman thing was going to play out. We, we know that, you know. We, we're very abreast on how these things work. Same as with, you know, um, propaganda. We see how, you know, the same thing can happen. This person it looks is promoted this way and that person is promoted this way. We're not, um, yeah, we ain't slow to this. We ain't new to this. We true to this. So when people talk about, as one thing we don't do is pat ourselves on the back for being so, um, so politically savvy and so aware of these surroundings because everybody else for the most part is playing dumb because they're getting over and, or getting ahead by acting like what's real out here doesn't exist and, or the things in the past that people have benefited from never existed or or didn't exist or you know the the consummate oh that's just the past you need to move on as if the past doesn't affect the present or the future type of situation and we all know that not to be the case so i think we need to give ourselves a little bit more credit that's what i'm saying at the end of the day is because you know you'd be surprised how many black people know why um, Cuba has a relationship with the United States that it does. You know, you'd be surprised to know why um, the effects of Vietnam to t that the effects of Vietnam have on today, or the effects of that the Jim Crow and Reconstruction have on today, or the because we don't, we don't have to go to slavery. You know, we, we understand the political aspect of the GI Bill and uh, how, how the middle class was formed in America at whose expense, you know. We get these quote unquote presidents and senators and representatives and these caucuses and, and, these, and these courts um, rigging the system for their personal benefit and for Racial benefits, you know, we get all of that stuff. I guess the problem is when we say it, it's an issue because I think most people are accustomed to fucking over us to the point where, you know, they, they want to, the only way they can sleep good at night is if we believe that it's okay for them to do a to screw us over and then when we say no it's not and we know why you're doing it when it started why it started how it started and the ramifications of it you know the red lining all that we know we, we see how all of this shit plays together for this big old bullshit game that you call america the jig is up right and people get you know they get flustered i'm like well People say, you know, black people need to get, get it together as far as politics. But like I said, I think we're pretty astute when it comes to the workings of this political system. So I'm going to leave it at that, man. Peace. Uh-oh.